Before the video begins, I want to inform you this video was recorded in ultra wide, or in other words, 21 by 9 format, which means that the video will have black bars on the top and the bottom of your screen. The smoothest way to watch it will either be on an ultra wide monitor or on a phone watching it sideways in full screen. This is Kled, a based Yordle that I think probably has the coolest voice lines in all of League, and probably the only character in League that actually has a voice line that cusses. Uh, I've been maining this character pretty much the whole time that I've been playing League of Legends. I have been maining this character and this is going to be my second season on League of Legends. So yeah, it's about it's going to be about two years. And I think the quickest way to get to the point on this video is that I think Kled has gradually gotten worse since last season i feel like he was in an okay state i didn't play the season before that which would be season 12 but overall season 13 cled felt pretty good in my opinion from just comparing the two seasons that i've played season 13 and season 14 i feel like cled has gotten objectively weaker in terms of his items that he builds so much to the point that his core items aren't even bruiser items and this is the only champion in league where if you want to get the highest win rate and build the correct items you have to build items that aren't even respected to the class of the champion that you are playing which honestly is very unfortunate because you literally have to play clad as if he's like an assassin or a burst champion so the common builds that have been prevalent in in season 14 have been crit slash lethality and it's been alternating at the beginning it was just lethality then it switched to crit builds once crit, uh, crit got buffed and then now it's back to lethality and sure if you build hubris it does do a lot of damage but Honestly, with any champion, if you build Hubris, it will do a lot of damage if you get fed. But the thing is, Kled may still be viable as being a burst champion, but I think that takes away from his old playstyle where you could do some damage and and be slightly tankier building bruiser items last season. And the champion was actually more fun. You weren't like a fucking burst assassin one-shotting ADCs, which I think was actually even more fun and more intuitive. But the thing is... More than likely, as of making this video, nothing really will change. Kled will probably just be in the same state that he has been for this whole season, right? Just ignored, right? And perhaps you're thinking, what is this dumbass talking about? This guy probably never plays Kled. Well, let's see what the Kled mains on Reddit had to say about this. All right, so I opened up. I think I'm recording already. All right, so I don't normally use Reddit. So yeah, it's, I think yeah, I'm in Kled mains already. All right so let's see can we find a recent post so wait should we should we sort by top i think we should sort by top now um top this year this in, the invisible badger respects our authority all right all right i wasted a few minutes just scrolling on reddit actually i never realized how uh, how interesting reddit is until now all right, we're not gonna sort by this year. We, we didn't find shit, but let's just say this week. Should we do a hot? I think hot, no? All right, let's just, let's just scroll until we find something about saying Kled is weak. Oh, we didn't have to scroll that far, did we? Why is Kled's meta most common build assassin? Let's see this. Let's read it out loud. I used to play Kled a lot back when he went tank. I'd like to use him again as he seems to have a good win rate near my rank, but when I see his builds, it's mostly assassin with maybe one or two bruiser items. Why doesn't he go full bruiser? I think that's when they made the change to Skarl's HP from bonus to base. Most tank items simply stopped being worth it, so that's why the tank build is not that seen, but what, it, what, but what makes it so bruiser items aren't that picked? Assassin or crit can one-shot most people, especially carries, ca carries. If you go bruiser, it feels like most ADCs can face tank you. Especially fighting other bruisers sucks. Because they usually scale better with HP, as Kled has no HP scalings, and HP itself doesn't really make you tanky. So even with bruiser build, you get blown up. But Kled has great AD scaling and an insane attack speed boost on W, so building assassin or crit works well for him especially because of your alt shield scales with ad and thanks to your dismount mechanic you literally cannot be one shot so when building full class cannon clad has more survivability than most others that makes a pretty good point he has kind of 
can't you also can't get like one shotted. I mean, I, I think there has been times where I think I had remount and then I still got one shotted, but I think that's probably a bug that happens a lot when you're playing Kled. So like, for example, if you look at like set W, let's say let's say it's fully charged and I don't know, Kled has only like a thousand health. Kled should, if if I'm correct, which I believe to be, right? Uh, set, even if set hits a fully charged W, like, and let's say he's like level, t level 18 and let's just say this Kled is like, I don't know, like level fucking... Level 10, right? Clad can only lose the first part of his health, which is Scarl, and he'll get dismounted. So he won't take a full hit from set W compared to every other character in the game. So he does get invulnerability when he dismounts, but it's for just a brief second. So I guess that's pretty cool, especially into set because set is a piece of sh No, I'm just playing. I don't know. All right, let's, let's keep reading though. The same reason as to why Aatrox started building Lethality, and I'll paraphrase, Niall here to answer your question. To kill people, you need damage. Let's see. Let's read some more. They changed how Kled takes percent HP damage and outscales both off his HP bars in both mounted and dismounted forms. So building HP works against you by making you take more damage in dismounted form based on HP you don't have access to in dismounted form. Also, the bruiser and tank items are kind of meh. So the full lethality is the, the more way is the way to go. This was always the case. There were some times when items just ignored Kled health, but those were bugs. What I think you're talking about is how Scarl's health used to count as bonus. As bonus, so bonus health scaling items are really good on Kled. It's all right, let's read this one. This is kind of interesting. Oh my god, a champion with four damage abilities that scale highly with AD and might as well have negative synergy with HP items only building damage items. Tank items are shit nowadays. The tanks that are good right now are good because of broken base stats or scaling cooldowns. There's CDS. You want to build HP in a world made by HP damage? Go ahead and have fun, but full damage is the only way for Clad to pretend to be useful. High win rate also doesn't mean shit if only 12 people play it. That's true. I think another thing I'll probably I could probably find this if I keep scrolling on Reddit, but a part of Kled's win rate looking like kind of higher, like sitting at a 53 or 52 percent win rate. A part of the reason why I think Kled's win rate seems fine when you just look at it is, yeah, it looks like he has a 53 percent win rate. And I think a lot of people don't understand that the only people that really play Kled are like one tricks and a part I've read this even on Reddit too. It's like part of the reason why his win rate win rate is so high. It's because it's inflated by the fact that a lot of people don't know exactly what Kled does. I couldn't tell you how many times I play Kled and I can just ignore Vagar's cage like with his, with my alt because the thing is like, I, I actually, I genuinely don't think I've ever really played against a Vagar that knew what, my alt did simply because no one plays Kled. And I think Kled is actually weaker than most people think. It's just a lot of people just don't know how to play against them. And although I could be wrong, I believe this to be the case because it, it, it just so happens a lot of the times that even my own team doesn't even know what I do. Like the I'll alt in and like, I guess they don't even know what my alt does. This doesn't really happen in ranked because I feel like in ranked people have been playing the game for like years. I'd imagine sometimes maybe that's not the case. Sometimes some people are new. If you're still watching by this point, it would mean a lot if uh, you left some feedback, criticism in the comments. Of course, I am always trying to improve on my videos. And aside from it boosting the algorithm and like helping me out, I think I do need to take criticism. So if you have to be mean and you think it's mean, fuck it. Um, perhaps. I mean, obviously, don't just tell me, oh, you're ugly as fuck. I mean. You don't got to tell me that. But the thing is, I want to get better at my talking head videos as my last video. It fucking tanked in dislikes. And I think right now it is the most disliked video I've ever uploaded on my channel. And I've been doing YouTube for about also nearly two years. So about the same as I've been playing League. So there's that. I definitely want to get better. Back to the videos. I want to close off by offering some solutions to our problem here with Kled today. I think his AD ratios are fine. I just think that certain things need to be 
changed about him so perhaps a rework i don't know what riot could do unfortunately i i couldn't even figure it out because like the thing is you can't really give like i've thought about it again and again is certain things i feel like if you change for cled like for example if you make it where he's invulnerable when he's remounting like sure I, i'm all for it but at the same time i would understand that that would be game breaking and i think what something they could do and i could be wrong on this this is my opinion i think that they should make it where he should get armor penetration or some sort a lot of the times you'll win your lane you'll get fed on cled you'll dominate your lane and even your top the top laner that you went against is a tank and later in the team fights just because they have like a tank support like a leona or nautilus the game just turns very tricky to 1v9 it and carry your team to victory whereas i can just play any other character and probably carry even harder than Kled can so i do want Kled to remain the same in terms of the abilities that he has now perhaps maybe making him more useful by increasing his grievous wounds on his Q. I did read some patch notes the other day that previously, I think like two or three years ago, Kled's rope used to have, I think like an 80% anti-heal. And the funny thing enough is that nine times out of 10, you can almost never really kill Warwick or Briar at any stage of the game, not early, not mid and not late. So I think maybe they should buff the grievous wounds to like 80% and perhaps he, be he may gain in popularity and become a good pick again even if he's not the same play style that he used to be so long as he is played more and has a purpose in this meta i think that would be good for him um i i really don't know what what Riot could do like once again i, I will say like I'm, I'm not sure i'm i mean i'm pretty sure some people can come up with better solutions um Perhaps maybe even in the comments, you could leave some. I just do feel that Kled needs some balancing to make him strong. I don't think that increasing his AD ratios is really the problem here. It's more so giving him utility or maybe even buffing the items that he used to build slightly. But um, I think I'm going to end the video here. And thank you guys for watching and have a good rest of your day.